We are finally laying to rest with all due honor and respect the veterans and their spouses who time and society had forgotten. The people we honor today lived their final years at the Oregon State Hospital or at other state institutions. When they died, they were cremated at the hospital's crematorium and no one came forward to claim their ashes. Sometimes it was because there was no family to notify or sometimes it was because the hospital had no record of who to, who to notify, or sometimes the family was too poor to afford a more proper burial. Too often though, it was because the stigma of mental illness was too much of a barrier to cross. Oregon State Hospital has been the custodian of these remains ever since, in one case for more than a century. And over the years, housed in their copper canisters, they were moved from one location on the grounds to another, and then eventually forgotten. However, in 2004, while on a tour of the old, antiquated, overcrowded, dilapidated State Hospital in Salem, Senate President, President Peter Courtney came upon the thousands of copper canisters filled with ashes, and he vowed that as a state, we would do better. We would do better for the patients of the past and for the patients of today. Thanks to the dedication and passion inspired by seeing the cremains, Senator Courtney and other state leaders gathered support to fund the Oregon State Hospital Replacement Project, building two new world-class psychiatric facilities where people now heal and recover from their mental illness and return to their lives in the community. It's only fitting that just a few days before Memorial Day, we place these veterans alongside their brothers and sisters who have given so much to preserve our freedom. We owe all of them the dignity and respect they will now receive with internment at the Willamette National Cemetery. The veterans we honor today served so long ago, we don't know if their war experiences played a part in their hospitalization. But we do know that just like veterans of today who may have returned from war struggling with mental illness, that they should not and now will not be forgotten. We pray that they will rest in eternal peace. May God bless them and their families. May God bless all veterans on this Memorial Day. And may God bless the United States of America. Thank you.